Hey everybody, how's it going? Titan Uprising here, thank you for tuning in. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about Elijah Molden and how he's been getting reps at safety at camp so far and what that means, what I think it means. And I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I'm not worried about Kevin Byard. I am not, I'm wearing his jersey. Don't be worried guys. I think there's a reason they're doing this and I will get into that and I will explain my thought process on this. And try not to read all the doomsday articles, people trying to get you to click on something because it says Kevin Byard and getting released. A lot of times they don't know anything what they're talking about. They just want you to click on something. Um, and I want to know if you guys, at the end of the video, if you agree, disagree, um, let me know. I'll dive right into it. I'm going to pull up the depth chart here for Tennessee. And specifically safety we're looking at here. And we have Amani Hooker and Kevin Byard as the starters. We all know that. We have backups, Josh Thompson from Jacksonville and Mike Brown from Cleveland. Those guys are going to be special teamers. And we'll see the defensive side of the ball here and there sparingly. And then we have Matthew Jackson and Tyreek Jones, who are undrafted free agents that we signed this offseason. Those guys will probably be practice squad or cut unless they can surprise us. Let's hope they do. Um, but let me... Let me just tell you guys, when I look at this, I look at the depth chart, I look at the starting safeties, I'm like, great, awesome. I look at the backups and I'm like, eh, 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 there's not much there. We are thin at safety. Now, I look at corners. We have Christian Fulton, Sean Murphy Bunting from Tampa, Roger McCreary, who played well as a rookie last year, Caleb Farley, our first round pick from 2021, if he ever lives up to his potential and stays healthy. Trey Avery, our undrafted free agent last year, who did very well, given the circumstances being thrown right in. And then we have the guy we're talking about right now, Elijah Molden. So those are our six corners. We have Chris Jackson from 2020, seventh round pick. And then we have Shaheem Carter from San Francisco. Rest of the guys are undrafted free agents. I'm not going to dive into them. But if you look, our top six corners, like I said, Fulton, Bunting, McCreary, Farley, Avery, Molden. They have the potential to do okay. Our corners aren't going to shut anybody down. We have good safeties to help out. We have a good front. Now, I look at the safety and I'm like, okay, we historically have used three safeties. We don't have a Dane Krunkshank right now um, to eliminate a tight end like we had in the past. And we don't have um, the depth there. We really don't. Not saying we have the greatest depth at corner, but if we could take Elijah Molden and have him be our third safety and then also have him play a little corner here too, that'd be great. And Roger, Roger, you guys got to remember, Roger McCreary could, could be that nickel for us where Elijah Molden was supposed to be, but he's hurt last year. So I could see that as why we are doing it. And it makes sense when I look at the depth chart, and I'm hoping it does to you guys as well. Just looking at the depth chart, you can't look at safety and say, wow, if Hooker went down like he was hurt last year and we threw Thompson or Brown in, you can't feel confident. Now, if Hooker went down and Molden came in as safety, I would feel more confident. I really would. And I think that's more the case than us having Molden play at safety during camp because he's going to take over Kevin Byers' role. I don't think that. I think it's a depth thing, and I think it's also um, our team has – been saying it all offseason and you've been seeing it with how they draft and how they um have signed guys in free agency we want guys who are going to be able to play multiple positions across the board that's what we want someone goes down plug this guy in there uh mainly offensive line when i say that defense we're gonna show them different coverages we're gonna have three safeties out there we're gonna have one corner Three safeties and then, you know, X amount of linebackers, defense alignment. We're going to confuse the heck out of defense and that's or the offense, and that's what our defense does. I like it that we do that, but you need to have the pieces to do it. Now, I will bring up Amani Hooker's contract here. And I'm doing this because <clears throat> I want you guys to see why this doesn't make sense. So 2023, you look at the cap here, 13.685 of dead money if they were to cut him this year and 4.8 in savings. Not going to happen this year, guys. He's a he's a lock. Next year, 
five five million dead money, four point four cap savings. Possibly, if he gets hurt again this year, possibly he's gone. Now, two thousand twenty five, two point five dead uh, dead money, and then eight point one in cap savings. So maybe a twenty twenty five release, but he's only gonna be twenty seven years old. So let's see what how he does. Now, the reason I'm bringing up the contracts here is. Let's just say we're grooming Elijah Molden to take over one of these guys eventually, which I think is a possibility because we don't know what the future holds. But I can tell you right now, I don't think he's getting groomed to take over right now. I think this is something that's going to go on for the whole year. We're going to have him at third safety, be a little bit of backup role, play safety, play corner, see how he does for a potential shift next year, not this year. Now look at Kevin Byer's contract. 2023. 13.6 in dead money and 5.9, might as well say 6 million in cap savings. Eh, no, not going to happen. It's a lot of dead money. And we, we need cap, but I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. That's one of the reasons we asked him for a cut, I think, is because that's a, you know, he's a 19.6 cap number. It's a lot. He's worth it. He's a two-time All-Pro. I wish we did not ask him that. I really, really, really do. You can see his cap percent there. He's an 8.5% cap hit on our team. So... That sucks. It's a lot. I think he's worth it. He's 30 years old. People say 30 is like a, you know, you act like you're a dinosaur after that. I'm 32. So when they say that, it's like, geez, I, I feel like I'm going to croak when they, when they say that. Um, he's not, he's, he's all over the place on the field, constantly tackling, tackling, always around the ball. This guy's a two-time all pro, like I said, leader of the defense. I think he maybe he's a little pissed that they asked him to take a, a cap hit or a, a pay cut. I would be too. I'm not going to lie, I, I would probably be more petty than he is about it. Um, you know, that's why I'm not a professional football player. Uh, I would be blasting Twitter all over the place saying, F this, F that. I'd be pissed because he does not deserve to be asked to take a pay cut. I mean, I like what Rand's done so far, but I hate, that's the only thing I, uh, he has done that I hate. I absolutely hate that he did that. But it's happened. It's over with. Um... He also came out and said Kevin Byers and I asked for a trade. I believe that. Um, now let's look at 2024, 8.1 dead money, 9.7 cap uh, for savings. And that's, you know, eh, possibly, you know, possibly. He's still going to he's gonna have a 17.8 cap hit, but we also have a lot of cap next year. So I think if he's on the team this year, he's most likely on the team next year too. Um, and 2025 and 2026. Our void years because John Robinson kicked the can down the road, which he said he never would. So don't pay attention to those. He's uh, actually a free agent after the 2024 season. So look at the cap hits there. I, I just don't see it happening. Unless somebody offers a great trade, which I also don't see happening. T people have their, you know, the, their caps pretty much, you know, almost, almost settled. You know, like I made a video the other day about DeAndre Hopkins People are going to, try to have to have to figure out how to fit him into their cap if they want to get him, right? Um, a lot of these teams, they want heavy in free agency, and then they're making room or just had a little bit of room to sign their free uh, their draft picks. This is a tough time for free agents and trades around this time of the year. Um, but anything's possible. People can, Teams can always move people around and move numbers around, as you can see by the void years here for Kevin Byard. So... Guys, I don't think you should panic. I don't think you should panic at all. I think Kevin Byer is going to stay on this team. That's why I'm wearing his jersey. Uh, I think he's going to stay at Tennessee Titan this year. Uh, next year, we'll see. I think, personally, Monty Hooker has a better chance of getting cut next year than Kevin Byer does. And that's because of the health. And I could see um, Elijah Molden playing more strong safety than free safety. But that's my thought process on that, guys. Um, just to break it down really quick, I think we could use a third um, safety because our safety is not our safety position does not have much depth to it. And if Hooker has injury histories like he did last year with the concussions, um, I could really see why they would want to have somebody like Elijah Molden there. Also, if he stays getting hurt, this is a, the uh, potential successor. He could also be a successor to Kevin Byard. But I don't think we're doing it now because he's going to all of a sudden become a starter. He just started playing safety. He was hurt last year, too. So he just started getting reps there. This is for the future. This is not for right now. I mean, right now, I mean, he's getting the reps and everything. They're going to try him out. But as far as being a long-time or a full-time safety starter, not this year. We're looking at it in the future. 
Um, and there's a chance he doesn't pan out either. So that's my thought process on that, guys. Let me know what you guys think. I always comment back. Um, we might not always agree and um, see eye to eye on things, but this is my thought process on this. If you guys think something different, let me know. If you agree, let me know. Um, healthy debate's always good. At the end of the day, we want Tennessee to win a ring. So <clears throat> uh, we'll talk soon, guys, and tighten up. See ya.